But the only bit I'm really sure about of my opening batsman is Barry Richards and Gordon Greenwich. I cannot imagine there's any time in the history of cricket there's been a finer opening pair. Third, I would go for another Richards. Yeah, you could hardly ignore him. Um, Viv, who just massacred, well, all teams. Fourth, possibly the finest batsman of modern times, Sachin Tendulkar. As a photographer, he was quite difficult to photograph. You know, sometimes had to work quite hard to get what you wanted, but wonderful. Somebody's got a captain this team. Um, I'd go for Gary Sobers. Has there ever been a better all-round player? Then the next place, batting order, one or the other. Let's start with Beefy. As a character, as a, as a winner, you, you probably won't find a more competitive player. Adam Gilchrist, just in case this side is sort of skittled out and they're about sort of eight for four, you'd have Gilchrist coming into bat and that would be fantastic. Well, the finest spin bowler probably that ever lived, um, Jane Warne. Did you ever see leg spin like that, or any spin? I just have words, I've run out of words for him, I really have. Then, Malcolm Marshall, I just remember so many times, just deceptively fast. You know, probably of all the bowlers I'm going to mention, the one we'd least like to face. Except Michael Holding, the next one. I was there in Barbados in 81, and he bowled that famous over to Jeff Boycott. And, you know, to this day, a lot of very well-known, well-respected spectators and observers of the game argue that it could have been the fastest over ever bowled. And that's what I felt. It was absolutely astonishing. I really got to have Dennis Lilly as my last player. Um, a superb, really fantastic bowler. And he would line up a fairly strong team. Well, that's my all-time 11. Remember, I did photograph all of them. What's yours?